Welcome back to my channel. I am Chai. Does anything look different? Uh, we have a barn finally. In the last episode of this Let's Play, we ended up renovating the barn and it looks way better than it used to. So if you would like to go back and see that, it is in the description below. I think it's episode 16 or 17 or something like that. It just says barn reno on the thumbnail and in the title. Okay, so I did make a few more changes or a few more additions after the fact. I added a weather vane on top of here because I think it brought everything together and it looked good. I mean, I should be going into build mode to show this or not build mode. Well, yeah, build mode, but like not in gameplay because then there wouldn't be any snow. But either way, I added the weather vane. I think it's white or black. I believe it's actually black. So it matches the roof because the roof is black. And then I added, let's see, I have a list here of the things that I added. Uh, I added a garden hose out back. Everything that I added, I did for like detail purposes. It's not like anything super functional, but I added a garden hose. I added log the log pictures above the woodworking table because I think that kind of like brought it together a little bit and it made it a little more colorful. And the wall just looked a little bare to me. So I think that actually looks pretty good. And then I added River's dog food on the floor over here. You know, this is this is a, this is like a storage barn too. So definitely nice to have River's dog food in here. Um, there is a wash bucket that I added. Where the heck is that? Oh, it's over here. I added that. I added it this shelf next to the juicer to give it kind of a little more details too. There's like a bin here with records in it. I mean, it's an odd thing to put in the barn, but it looks old and I don't know. It just looked like it fit. It fits, so it ships. Okay, so then I also put these two barrels here next to these pipes. It kind of makes it look like there's, it, it kind of makes it look like there's something for the juicer that that's what he uses for the juicer, like kind of cleaning things for it or uh, what he can put into it in order to make it work. And then I actually brought the candle maker in here because I wanted it out of the living room and it just looked like it fit in here. It, again, it fits, so it ships. I added a few more things up here on these shelves, and then I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. I might have added a couple more things onto here, but I am so happy with how this turned out. And the fact that we can actually go inside here and have space to move around and work is gonna be great. Okay, so we did spin the wheel last time too, and we found out that we are going to be next working towards renovating the exterior of this place. I did leave the permit here, so I think we're gonna move the permit around to, if we can fit it, I think we're gonna move the permit around to, yeah, we can fit it right there. We'll put it right above the front door, so we know that's what we're doing. We're gonna be working on saving money to renovate the exterior, and then we also ended up getting a llama shed, because that is what we were uh, allowed to get, or needed to get when we were done renovating the barn. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna finally purchase a try for baby with Brody in the llama shed. No, not today, folks, not today. All right, we're gonna get a llama. We'll get, uh, why not get a beige one? I'll take that and then we'll name it and then we will finally have all the animals on the farm. So let's uh, have Cecilia go do that. And that actually helped with her aspiration too. Oh, welcome to the farm, little llama. You know, why do I want to name you Lemon? I don't know. I don't know why I want to name it Lemon, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, name Beige Llama. Lemon is going to be your name. Lemony Snicket. Why do I want to name it Lemony Snicket now? Anybody know about those uh, books? That book series from Lemony Snicket? Series of Unfortunate Events, superb book, superb TV show, and superb movie when it came out. The movie wasn't as great as the books, but it was still good. Okay, so she purchased uh, a chicken, cow, or llama. Okay, she can socialize with a fox, rabbit, or bird five times. Okay, visit the Finchwick, Old New Hinford. I forgot, I totally forgot that I wanted to work on this for her too. So that's gonna be nice to keep working on that with her. I would also like to plant everything uh fill out this whole thing and go to the city and fill this up so how many patches do we have we have one two three there's six on each side so i need 18 veggies to put in there let's go take care of sugar and clean the shed we'll call sugar over and then we will we'll take care of her in the meantime we need to 
take care of simoleons. We need to take the $2,000 off for the exterior because he, Brody needs to have, per my rules, if you'd like to see my rules, that's in the first episode of this challenge. Per the rules, 2,000 simoleons is what we needed to pay for the permit in order to do the exterior. We got six bottles of milk. Okay, we need to put that in the refrigerator beforehand. Brody needs to be level five gardening in order to do this whole renovation. We also need the money to do it. So we'll be working on getting that up and level five gardening. He is almost at level five. He is halfway there. Can we do anything with these plants? No, not right now. So what we'll do, Cecilia just became acquaintances with Paul Ben Hood. Good for that. Who is this? What are you doing shoveling snow on my lot? I know there's weeds here. We can evolve you and we can also weed you. Oh my God, it's so nice to be in a nice place. It is 8, 12 p.m. In the morning, I would like to go to the city and get some plants to plant in the back because that can be another source of income. Cecilia, you have a, would you, what are you doing with this? Clean this up. And you're also wasting our food. Oh my goodness, girl. Uh, are, are we going to be stuck in a loop here with you? Brody, here. Let's go do something on the woodworking table so you can have something to sell in the shop. Craft furniture. Um, we can craft a bathtub. Cecilia, for the third time, <laughs> I've been trying to get you to finish your job. Make website pages. Because we need to get paid for that too. Okay, freelancer. Make a website page. Well, Cecilia, it's your fault that you didn't eat. You had plenty of ample time to cook. And I noticed that River is um, in, I know, River, you're super sad. I noticed that she is in heat and that she can mate, but there are no other dogs around at the moment that is uh, available for that. That'd be kind of cute to have puppies though. Oh yeah, I forgot, we have an egg incubating out here. When is that gonna be done? One day, nine hours, in five minutes we need to keep on top of looking at that yes I know River oh my god it is so nice to be in here with room and space to be working on all of this I love it isn't this great and there's also room all kinds of room for new activities and new additions I love seeing the I love seeing the fans going too so it's like there's actually something working and going on to, to provide airflow like from as if there wasn't enough air flow through this door, but still it's cool. It's cool. It just, it helps bring air into here and out the door. I love it. Okay. Brody's going to go to bed. Oh yes. Now that we've gotten all these mushrooms, deliver a charming mushroom and a verdant mushroom to the pub owner. Okay. We're going to also work on that. There's lots to work on. And I know we have some in our inventory too. So I need to lay all these out right here and then put them in there because of that wonderful glitch that we have where all of our things go into the inventory. Gotta love it. We're just gonna sell the rest of the fruit out of the inventory aside from the mushrooms because it's a pain in the ass to, <laughs> to get it all in one place. And I do have the doors locked for all animals except for, like I think I have it locked for foxes and stuff. So hopefully, we will not have any issues with that. But you know the Sims. Okay, so we need to deliver a charming mushroom and a verdant mushroom, okay? And to drink that drink. And what else? We did deliver four raspberries to the creature keeper. Do I have raspberries in here? No, I don't. Do I have enough in here? Plants, right? Yes. Raspberries open. I need four raspberries. We have plenty of those. So we'll take all those with us and then we'll deliver those to him. All right, website page is here. Okay, we'll just call this number three. I think that's what number we're on. All right, so we made one web page for that. Oh, it's so nice. We cook in a nice kitchen. We can woodwork in a nice barn. Oh, things are coming together. It's great. Yeah, I know Christmas was awful. When we, we'll have Christmas. We'll celebrate it at some point. You know we will. I kind of want to get, I downloaded a toaster, uh, the new, the version two toaster from Necrodog. I kind of want to get one and put it right here or right here. So let's see if we can do that. I don't know if there's a color that's going to look right in here though. The only place that it can really go is there, but we could also put it on the island right here. So what color do we want? 
yellow probably. Yellow probably would look the best, but it is kind of bright. I guess we'll just do yellow because I do want to on occasion make um, like Nutella toast and avocado toast and stuff like that. We can't make any of this until we um, have Simple Living turned off, so that's fine. I'm not worried about it. It's just a little nice addition there. Curtis Walters is back. Curtis Walters is the one who was helping us with things, and he is uh, having fun over here with our pots. All right, Brody's going to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, it's also nice that we have a half bath out here now. All right, let's craft some more furniture. Let's do another bathtub so we have it to sell for the shop because we're probably going to go to the shop and sell today too if we have the time. Okay, Cecilia is up. She needs to grab a shower and eat again. So let's grab a shower for her and eat some leftovers. And then you can work on another website page. We're going to travel here in just a minute. We're going to have her work on this website page first though. So can you work on your gardening anymore before then and try to get this up real quick? Let's harvest everything before we leave. So we don't have anything going into our inventory. Harvest all. I know, River. Let, let's pet you for a little bit before we go. Are you, Do you have food? Yeah, you have plenty of food. Looks like the composting is complete. We can retrieve it. Website page name number four. We got a minor growth fertilizer. Very nice. All right, Cecilia, do you want to come with us? Because we're going to go travel here and go do some things. All right, here we are at the Gnome's Arms. After all this time, we're finally able to give it to you, Sarah. So excited. Yay. Order a Verdant and Funk sampler. Hopefully we can do that now. All right, it says, delightful. These mushrooms look particularly pungent. Visit me at the bar and I'll craft them into an earthy drink with a kick to it. I call it the Verdant and Funk. All right, let's order that. Once a pub owner has the mushrooms they need, find them tending the bar, okay? And order the Verdant and Funk. Can you please just let me order? Here we go. There we go. All right, we're sitting at the bar together, me and Cecilia. Verdant and Funk, that pretty much looks like a martini to me. All right, Brody, would you drink the, would you drink it please? Quit chatting and drink the Verdant and Funk, thank you. What the funk? <laughs> the Verda and Funk is hitting all the right notes. And Brody's Palette. It's a drink that many would be thrilled to discover in a country pub. Tell the pub owner which drink to serve. Choose between the Bagley Fizz or the Verna and Funk as the pub owner's signature drink by speaking with the pub owner. All right. I will do the Bagley Berry Fizz. All right, we got it. Yes, 175. Does she have any more uh, things for us to do? Any more errands? We're on a roll. May as well not stop now. I haven't had a chance to make the rounds recently. Will you mind going and saying hello to some of the villagers and helping me with an errand? Why not? We'll go ahead and do that. What does it say? Offer the village package to the right sim. Oh, God. I was putting together some things to send out and I must have gotten a bit flustered because I managed to seal up this package and plum forgot who it's supposed to go to. Would you mind lugging it around for a bit and see if you can get it to the sim that's waiting on it? Oh, Lord. Okay, we're going to go real quick into the Bramblewood and we're going to deliver these raspberries. We are here to deliver your raspberries, man. Oh, it's so good to finally be getting things completed. Oh, yummers. That looks divine. Please accept some small tokens of my appreciation. They'll come in handy the next time you prepare a meal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some tasty food to tuck into. Well, hold on. Do you need help with anything else? Do you need help with anything else? There is a lot of nature out there, and try as I might, I can't keep an eye on all of it. I wouldn't mind having a second set of hands from time to time, something between a friend and a business partner, you know? Think you could be you? Okay, we'll try to see what we can do with that. What does he want? Watch three rabbits. Hip hop to the hippity hip hop, hip hop a dip it up. Okay, all right, we'll watch three rabbits. We'll have to do that a different time. All right, we're gonna go travel to the store and go to sleep because we are definitely having a rough time. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. We'll put all this stuff at the store. Okay, we are at the store. Brody, you can go directly to bed because you are exhausted. You know, I should have brought your laptop. Do we have space upstairs to put a chair and a laptop? Um, I feel that we might. Yeah, we do right here in the corner. Okay, we can do that. So Cecilia can do her work here too. 
Let's go to the computer desk. I just want that one from uh, high school years. Yeah, this 255. I don't need anything super, super snazzy over here. I, I'm probably going to make this a color that kind of matches around in here. Yeah, that's fine. This, this green color. And then I will have a chair here that is similar. Where is it at? Is it really too expensive? I was going to say, it better not be too expensive. $30 for that. Let's get the matching chair. Okay. And then we will get a laptop. This $1,000 one ought to do it because that's all we can afford anyway. Or should we just get this computer? Maybe we'll do the laptop because we can take that with us anywhere. And we will get a white one this time or a gray one this time. So Cecilia, now that you have a little space up here to do your work, you can come up here, go to the bathroom real quick. I love that our TV is broke. Okay, now what you can do is you can do your freelancer stuff and you can work on your last website page so we can get paid for that job. Brody, you're sleeping, and before we do that, we need to wake you up and get your bladder emptied so you don't have a bladder failure here. Use real quick and then go back to sleep. Actually, you can use that, come up here, repair the TV because that's going to drive me nuts looking at that, and then you can go to sleep. Looks like Cecilia is almost up in her programming skill. She can now make mobile phone apps. All right, that's cool. I kind of want to finish this cross stitching too. I wonder if we can sell that in the store if she does. All right, we need to transfer all this stuff out of here from Brody so that we don't lose out on it. So we have some things here at the store that we can use too. Oh yeah, we have this fossilized egg from last time we can sell too. All right, we'll label that number four. All right, set that for sale. Cecilia, you can grab something to eat. You can get that mushroom soup. And also, is there anything that you can cook from here? Hamburger sliders, we can do party size of those. Why do Sims never cook on these counters that are here? I don't understand it. Okay, so she finished that job. We can get her another gig too because we did make like a little over 2,000 simoleons from that. All right, she grabbed a serving of that. That is good. We put that in the refrigerator. You know what? I actually might have her go to sleep and get her sleep up too because then we can both be at our best and try to do our work here. All right, Brody, your sleep is up all the way. Let's put this fire out. Let's go grab a shower and get clean for the day. Take a shower and then we will grab some leftovers. And then we will put things out and start opening the store and trying to sell them as we make other things. Somebody made a snow angel over there. Cecilia, you're up on your sleep all the way. You can get yourself another job here. What do we got? Let's do something higher level. Level seven, that's what we are. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I feel that us doing that is a little much right now though because getting $7,000 for that is a bit much. I, I really think we should stick, for now, I really think we should be sticking to like no more than two or 3,000. So let's try to do this. Simstagram is too big and popular to fall to the hands of some deviants. Our security needs to be top notch. If you're seeing this, it means you've been pre-approved to take this job. We screen everyone we might potentially work with. Can't be too careful. Be warned, you will be expected to keep tight-lipped on all Simstagram secrets. Fail failure to do so may result in an early termination and we don't just mean from the job. All right, we'll do the Simstagram servers. What do we gotta do here? Study security systems, hack server systems, and write a report. Is that what it's under here? Study security systems. Okay, we got some people coming in. And Brody, after you're done eating, you can also make more things. Oh yeah, we have to do copies of items that we create too. So we need to make a sculpture. And I know you're cold. Do you have enough points? You have 2,745. Do we have enough points to get stuff for the cold? So that he's not cold all the time. Cold acclimation. Sims with cold acclimation aren't affected as much by chilly weather. Okay, but what is the one where he doesn't get cold? Ice proof. Sims aren't negatively affected by cold temperatures and enjoy the cold. Redeem it. Yes. I am glad we had enough for that. All right, let's create a sculpture and then we'll make a uh, copy of it. Let's do a large lumberjack one. Can we do some canning? 
Yes, we can do some canning. Let's can some chocolate syrup. So we can set those for sale too. Cecilia, can you finish this cross stitch? Resume small hoop rainbow. A sale is occurring. Who is it? Okay, you can ring up customer. Nice, 13 24. I have another sale too. Cross stitch is life. Yes, Cecilia seems to be enjoying each and every stitch. Yes, she does like cross stitching. Who is this? You. You want to buy that? We are down for that. Okay, looks like she's done with that, right? Small hoop. Can we put that here for sale? Oh my god, that's so cute. We can set it for sale. Awesome. Very nice. Rodi, are you serious? You're up here doing yoga? You're up here doing yoga when there's things that are supposed to be done? All right, hold on. I need to get a cross stitch thing. Cross stitch thing. Cross stitch thing. -a. I don't remember having one, but we'll get a blue one. That looks beautiful, darling. Beautiful. Okay. All right, we have another sale. You can go take care of that. I think it's probably going to be the bathtub. Yes, it is. Good, because we need the extra money. And then I'm going to create another sculpture and copy it because we need to get his uh, stuff going here. And we keep selling these sculptures, but they're not um, adding up in this thing. So we'll, I'm sure we'll get that eventually. I'll start trying to add it up. All right, Brody, create a sculpture. We'll do a bunny sculpture. And Cecilia, you can do the last part of your job, which is writing a report so we can get the money from that. Use the bathroom. And then we are going to upgrade that. What can we do? Add superior flush. All right, Cecilia just got 3,600 simoleons from that. Very nice. We have another sale. Cecilia, you're done. You can ring up this customer and then you can go eat. You can get leftovers. They can eat together and they can talk together because they need some socialization. I know you guys need to have some fun. Well, we were trying to have fun until we got a sale. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's fun too. Ring up customer. I need to get her marketable too because she isn't selling things the same way that he is. Cecilia, you can go upstairs and watch TV for a little bit because you have been working hard. Actually, you can go watch comedy because that will make you laugh. Watch channel, watch the comedy channel so that you can get your fun up. Brody, looks like you finished the sculpture and we will drag this out here and create a copy of it. I kind of want to put a picture of Brody and Cecilia kind of like over by her work area because we have, no, I don't want that one. We have some things. Oh, that one's cute. Yes, that one. Uh, we will do light wood. Yeah, that'll do. See, now every time Cecilia's working here, she can check her and Brody out and say, oh my gosh, we are adorable, you know? Cecilia, how's your fun? Your fun's going off. That's a plus. Let's check on getting another job for you oh uh, let's see let's do a let's do a job that's like smaller so that we're not getting too much money let's do the mod makers jam what we got to do for this chat with client and mod game okay that sounds good to me you can quit that and then chat with your client what kind of points do we have in the store we have 390 points can we get anything decent with that Faster restocking, faster checkouts. I think I already have that. What I'm trying to save for is faster checkouts large. And then we need about like another 1,010, something like that. Okay, uh, bathtub. We need to take the bathtub out and put it outside for sale. Brody looks like he's heading to bed. So Cecilia, it's up to you. It's up to you, ma'am. It's up to you to run the store for a while. Brody, if you're gonna go to bed, then go to bed actual bed please and then I'm gonna have her wash her hands multiple times in the sink so that she can get her hygiene up and not uh, be going upstairs when these people need her if she has a sale someone bought her cross stitch yay so what is left for sale we have one chocolate thing okay we need to clean all this stuff this is looking terrible my goodness Brody, your sleep is good. After you clean all this, Cecilia, you can head to bed. And Brody, you, sir, need to get up and do another sculpture. How exciting. Elephant one. All right, we have another sale. Brody, you need to go ring them up real quick. 
Hey, we got the woodworking aspiration achieved. Good deal. And it keeps glitching and going back and forth between the sculptures. Oh, okay. So we got carpenter as our thing. What, what even is that? What's the carpenter? This sim has mastered the woodworking trade and will now learn all other mental skills 1.4 time, times faster. Hell yeah. What aspiration were we working on? I don't even remember. Was it Master Maker? Well, Master Maker's the one we're doing now. So we have to recycle five times after that because we already have level three fabrication skill. All right, nice, good deal. Okay, let's go up here and fabricate something. Fabricate. Let's fabricate a, oh, we can do a dining chair. So it looks like the only things we have left for sale in the shop are the book, the two sculptures, this other chocolate syrup, and the the uh, ta the tub. Cecilia, your sleep is decent. We can go to the freelancer now and we can mod the Sims Forever game and get that job done. We've done a lot with getting jobs done today with you. All right, it looks like we made that chair set for sale. I kind of like these chairs. I kind of want to fabricate these for our dining table at the house. I don't even know how, oh my God, we got $4,700 for that freaking tub. That's amazing. Someone already wants to buy the chair. Awesome. I literally think the only thing that is left is she got $510 for that um, job. Yeah, the only thing that seems to be left is this chocolate syrup. And I think this guy here wants to buy it. So this is great. And Cecilia, we can get you another job real quick so that we have something to work on for next time. We can work on the saucy dating app. You've got to study design documents and make a mobile app. All right, that sounds good to me. Is there anything else for sale? Because it's not saying there's nothing for sale. What else is there for sale? Oh, the sculpture. Okay, one more thing for sale. And looks like he wants to buy it while he dances his life away. All right, no items for sale in the shop. Remove the sign, clean the table. Make sure everything is removed. I think we have all signs removed, all the everything's removed. That is great. We have made a wonderful profit. Okay, uh, close the store. We made a profit of 9,636 simoleons. Now, let's do a transfer from current retail store to household funds. 9,636 simoleons needs to be confirmed. Oh my gosh, we have 19,673 simoleons. Well, you know what that means. This is going to be a quick, a quick thing here. We need to go back home, get his gardening skill up to level five, which is very close as well. But we're going to go to the, um, the what you call it first, the city real quick. Let's travel with Brody and we're going to buy a, oh, let me let him finish cleaning this table so that it can be done Yes. All right. That's all done. Let's travel here to the city and we're going to buy 18 plants to plant. Let's travel with Cecilia. We're going to buy 18 plants to plant in our garden. Okay. 10 27 AM. All right. Good. We have the garden store here. We can haggle or not garden store, grocery store. I'm going to buy some food for the house too. While we're here, we have plenty of money. All right, we got 25% off. We can buy grocery items here. We need to, can we, I don't know if we can buy the seeds here. Can we buy them here? Or do we buy them across the way? I think we buy them across the way. Okay, let's see what we want to get for food. Um, I'm going to get, we have milk at home from the cow. That's easy. You know, I have something to say here right now. Do you know how long I stinking waited for this charming mushroom to be at the grocery shop and I freaking came here every stinking day for it. Every stinking day. And now look, it's in the shop for sale after I get it, after the fact. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, love it. Let's get some more sugars, a couple more of those. I'll get six. Let's get some red meat and white meat. I'm going to get two of each. I don't want to waste money. All right, that's good for that. Let's go across the way here. We're going to buy some seeds uh, after we haggle here. We're going to do six of each different thing. We'll get six lettuces, six mushrooms, and then we will get six pumpkins. 
Anything else we want? Any? Ooh, six of mosquito traps. Are you the person who needs this package? Do you want my package, Agatha? We don't know you, Agatha, after all this time? I don't even know what this would be under. More choices? Offer village package? Do you need it? No? She doesn't know what package I'm talking about. Okay. Speaking of that, let's go back over here to Kim real quick. Does she need the package? Friendly, more choices, offer village package. So we know between these two if they need it. No, you don't need it either? Keep looking because the package is quite certainly not mine. All right, I will do it. You know, while we're here, we are going to see if this grocery deliver guy, uh, cheerful introduction, see if he needs it. Nope, he doesn't need it either. Sarah, do you need it? There's not even a choice to, for her to even get this offered to. Can't even offer you the package, so it can't be for you. Cecilia, is it yours? I will laugh so hard if after all this time it's Cecilia's. We can't offer it to her either. Okay. Cecilia, I'm sorry. You are an absolute mess. We have done all we can do. Let's go home, plant these veggies. Let's travel with you. Let's go home, plant these veggies. Okay, Brody, I know you're extremely tired, but we're gonna see about planting these veggies here. Can we, can we harvest that first? Oh yeah, we gotta talk to Patchy too. Okay, let's plant, plant oversized crop. Plant lettuce seeds. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Plant oversized crop, lettuce seeds. All right, we got the lettuces planted, but Brody had to, has to take a bathroom break, so uh, he's gonna go do that. You know, you're right here. Use this one. That's why I put it here. That's ridiculous that you have to do this one by one. That is so annoying. Of course Brody's too uncomfortable to do it. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go to bed here. Let's go upstairs, go to bed. You know what? We need to send her to bed too because she's also tired. And in the morning we are going to finish these, uh, planting these crops. Okay, Brody, we're gonna get him up and finish this planting because I would like to have this done because he needs to get his skill up to level five before we can renovate the uh, exterior of the house. The egg that's incubated in the coop is ready to hatch. Oh my goodness. Oh, Cecilia, let's go hatch the egg. We did it right this time. Oh my goodness, we got a baby chick. Oh, this is so adorable. For some odd reason, nothing will plant in this plant, this crop thing. It doesn't make any sense. Thank God I don't have a bigger, a bigger farming patch than this. Jeez, oh Pete. All right, we're finally level five. And Cecilia just got level, or Cecilia got level. Cecilia just got two eggs from the chicken coop. So we will put those in the refrigerator so they don't go bad. And we need to put this fertilizer she has in our fertilizer bin. And Brody, you need to water all of these, water all. This, look at this. Look at this cute little dude. You are so cute. What are we gonna name you? Name Hen Chick. Uh, okay, I really like the name it came with. Nugget, you can be kept as a nugget. <laughs> that is adorable. Brody, you are finishing up watering everything. It's taking you four years to do it. And then after that, you can spray for bugs on these. And then we're gonna examine the scarecrow and we're gonna chat with him and discuss the birds. So maybe we can get Patchy to come out at some point here. Oh my God, I forgot about Lemony. Oh, there's so much to do. Cecilia, I need your help. Oh my gosh. Sheer Lemony Snicket's wool. Clean them. Oh my goodness, we were bad. Oh no, Sugar's unhappy too. Oh, and Brody, you, you need to go take care of the cow because the cow is like super upset. All right, Brody found a vitality fertilizer for cleaning that out. Okay, you can socialize with her and hug her and then you can pet her. Everything is now taken care of. Okay, we have, we have the wool sheared. We have all the things. Maybe, uh, I don't know, what do we do with the wool? I think we can sew things or knit things or something. I know not a lot happened today, but actually a lot did. I mean, we ended up planting all of this in here when we came back. 
We sold a bunch of things in the store. We made like mad profit. We started out with like 6,000, almost 7,000 simoleons. Now we have almost 20,000. So we have the permit up on the house. You know, I think we're going to take the leap. And I know it's, it's quite soon, but we have already completed level five gardening and everything. I think we're going to take the leap. And the next video is going to be us uh, renovating the outside exterior of the house. And I am super excited to get rid of all of this junk off of here. And I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to leave this part here. And when we come back in the next video, you're going to see the brand new update of the house. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And also subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So you won't miss any new content from me in the future. Until next time. Have a wonderful day. You're like a quarter of the size of these ducks.